Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with yeah, another video of the Arizona Sports Fan. Thank you so very much for coming back, guys. I really do appreciate it. Now, today, what I wanted to talk about is something that I was trying to avoid uh, making a video for, but every video that I posted, there was probably about 10 to 15 comments about this topic. It's about Jamal Adams wanting out of the New York Jets, and... There's some subscribers that think that we really have a good chance in landing Jamal Adams. So if you guys want to talk about it, I'll go ahead and make a video about it here. So that's what exactly what we're doing here today. Let's go ahead and roll that intro. guys welcome back now like I mentioned in the intro we will be talking about Jamal Adams wanting to get out of the New York Jets organization before we jump into that I want to give a big shout out to Jordan Horn which is the new member of the Arizona sports fan membership program thank you so very much all your donations will go to good cause uh, making this channel better getting me better equipment now on to the topic of choice here Jamal Adams it's it's apparent everybody knows that he wants out of the New York Jets organization whether it's um, his idea of not getting paid uh, whether it's the Jets not wanting to pay him. I don't know all the, uh, the ins and outs of the whole situation. Um, I don't really know the story too much, but you know, watching a lot of national uh, TV, it's really hard to avoid the situation because we all know that Jamal Adams wants out of the organization. First disclaimer, I know I'm going to have multiple people on the comments below saying, why are you saying this? Why are you making a video about this? Why are you wasting your breath? Um, and all that different stuff. Are you, are you dumb? Well, why is this happening? I don't, I don't get it. Um, this is all like fake news of all that situation. I understand it. But if it's a video that are my subscribers are wanting for me to go ahead and do, my opinion on the matter. So that's what we're doing here today. Now, I do not think the Arizona Cardinals have interest in getting Jamal Adams. Now, I summed up three different reasons, which are probably one of the most obvious reasons here why the Arizona Cardinals do not want to get Jamal Adams. A lot of subscribers saying that Jamal Adams took to Twitter and started following a lot of Arizona Cardinal players, whether it's Patrick Peterson, Buda Baker, or, or even Cliff Kingsbury. Now, I do not think that following somebody on Twitter is really enough kind of information or, or, or enough reason for them to want to get to this organization uh, we kind of also got to keep in mind that a lot of these players are really good friends with each other they played with each other in college um, they know a friend from a friend uh, they respect each other's game or they just like what the other person says on social media and they, they like to follow that sort of uh, that storyline that drama uh, we don't live in the day and age where every player hates each other now um, it, it's just we don't we don't live in that or place anymore there's a completely different organization that we are currently watching in the NFL now so although he is following them just recently especially maybe even Cliff Kingsbury um, it's it's just probably something that he probably just likes them I mean overall so I don't think that's really much of a reason to say oh man he's gonna get traded to the Arizona Cardinals but I definitely see like the uh, the sense behind it because I know that Steve Kahn had a really really amazing offseason and you know getting DeAndre Hopkins so why not get another big player and getting Jamal Adams um, and you know just making our offseason that much better but I don't think it's gonna happen for these several reasons here uh, players that need to get signed or extended or, or get an additional contract um, it, of our players of our own that we really need to take a look into and you know making them happy such as Patrick Peterson, uh, Buda Baker or even DeAndre Hopkins. Now I know DeAndre Hopkins has several uh, years left on his contract but one of the main reasons is why he was super unhappy in the uh, the Texans organization was that he felt like he wasn't getting paid big bucks for a wide receiver which rightfully so right now he's not getting paid you know nowhere near you know Julio Jones type money, Michael Thomas type money. So I feel like the Arizona Cardinals while making this trade for DeAndre Hopkins hopefully set aside some money to um, whatever that topic or that conversation happens again we can say yes I agree you're making really really good uh, numbers 2020 season this is what we're gonna do to extend you or to add more money on your contract now Buda Baker is probably one of the best 
um, underrated safeties that uh, play in the NFL. I think his name is going to get a lot more out there once he gets paid, once he starts making a lot more plays. I think his season is going to skyrocket this coming season. So definitely look out for Buda Baker to get paid and, and making just big plays out there. I know a lot of people are saying Patrick Peterson, why pay him? He wants to get traded, get him traded. I do not think at this point that the what Patrick Peterson is ever going to get traded um, unless we have an abysmal, like a terrible season this coming uh, 2020s NFL season, then I can possibly see something like this happen. But Steve Kime has been on record multiple different times saying that Patrick Peterson is going to remain a Cardinal. He's going to retire a Cardinal. And Patrick Peterson said the same thing plenty of times too, that he wants to stay a Cardinal. But honestly, I feel like it really depends on the progression of the Arizona Cardinals. And if he feels like they're going in the right direction, going to the playoffs, just being an overall competitive team, I feel like he would be happy, um, especially if they give him another contract, extend him out, um, getting him paid um, you know, more than he's getting paid now. I think he'll be a happy gentlemen. Now, another reason why I don't feel like Jamal Adams is going to get sent over here to the Arizona Cardinals or get traded for is because he wants to get paid. He wants to get paid really, really big bucks. Now, I understand the, uh, the awesomeness that it would be to get, you know, Patrick Peterson, uh, either Robert Alford or uh, Byron Murphy, uh, Buda Baker and Jamal Adams back there. But I think in this sense here, um, that would be a very, very expensive secondary that we probably couldn't afford. I don't want to be the next uh, Los Angeles Rams where we're we're paying most of our salary cap to about three to four different players. I don't want to be put in that situation for the Arizona Cardinals here. So if we can get those pieces, Buda Baker, Patrick Peterson locked up. Currently, right now, we have Robert Alford for, I think we have about two more years on him. And obviously, Byron Murphy is still on his rookie deal. So whatever happens in that second cornerback spot, whoever wins that competition, um, I would be happy with. But we also got to go ahead and give some time for Jalen Thompson or Deontay Thompson to go ahead and, uh, you know, get better and pr progress. I feel like if you have, like, like, I don't want to say a weak spot, but I feel like if you have one uncertain player back there with three additional great players that are like really gelling very well, um, Deontay Thompson or Jalen Thompson will probably be um, good. He probably will get better by like the half of the season comes through. So I have all the faith in the world that Jalen Thompson or Deontay Thompson will, will get to that role where his role on this Arizona Cardinal organization will definitely get that much bigger. Um, do I feel like who's going to win in, you know, in this battle i think it's going to be jalen thompson personally um but we'll see but that's going to be my um my thoughts and concerns of the whole jamal adams situation here i don't think he's um yeah he's gonna be he would be a great fit with the arizona cardinals organization but it just doesn't make sense in the salary cap situation also chandler jones contract i think expires somewhere in like 2021 so i can see the arizona cardinals extending him or giving him an additional contract to um, let him finish his career in uh the arizona cardinals organization i know every fan would love to see see that he's still a beast I think he's still gonna have a really good season this coming 2020 season um he's I think he's 30 right now but his production is still there he's still a monster um so we also got to think about all that different sense so yes would it be cool to get Jamal Adams yeah it would be awesome to get a new you know big splash play but it just would not make sense at all for a cap situation and honestly we got to think of all that different stuff and the repercussions if we don't make the Super Bowl or if we don't you know go far into the playoffs yes this year would be awesome but the years after that would be abysmal it would be really terrible to try to sign any big free agent player names especially if we can't even maintain Jamal Adams because we're paying everybody a lot so let's go ahead and uh, wrap this video up right here Please let me know what your thoughts and concerns on the comments below make sure you leave a like on this video it really helps out the channel it helps us grow and if you're new please consider subscribing on this channel we talk trade rumors we talk um, we did free agency, we did draft, um, and overall uh, game reactions once the games come back, um, and all that different jazz, guys. So, like I said, that's all I got for this video, guys. Thank you so very much, and I'm out.